Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from the topic, the question tells us that the solution of a differential equation which is given by dy by dx plus e raised to x into x square minus 2 into y, it is equal to x square minus 2x into x square minus 2 into e raised to 2x. <laughs> so we have been told that the differential equation which is given to us in this form, the solution for this differential equation that satisfies y at 0 is equal to 0. Then we have been asked to find the value when x is equal to 2. So we need to find what is the value of y when x is equal to 2 for the solution of this differential equation. Let's try to find. First of all, if I talk about the options, the options given to us are minus 1, 1, 0 and the last option given to us is. So we need to figure out which one of the options is the correct answer for the question which is asked to us. Let's first try to solve this differential equation. So if I write that differential equation divided by dx plus e raised to x <laughs> into x square minus 2 into y is equal to x square minus 2x into x square minus 2 into e raised to x. So this is your entire equation. If I write this entire equation in the general form which we had, we have dy by dx plus by equal to q. So from that, if I compare it with this, I get p as, let's write that down. So p becomes e raised to x into x square minus 2. q becomes x square minus 2x into x square minus 2 into e raised to 2x. So if I write down this further, I know for this general form of differential equation, if is given to us as e raised to integral p dx. So if I apply the idea, my integrating factor that is if becomes e raised to integral, integral of p that is e raised to x into x square minus 2 dx. So if I try to find the integral of this value, whatever answer I get for this integral, let's say that is equal to e raised to i. So whatever value of i do I get here, I'll substitute that and with that I'll get my integrating factor. So first let's try to solve this i which I am substituting. The i is nothing but integral of e raised to x into x square minus 2 dx. If I try to solve this further, I get this e raised to x multiplied. So I have the separate integrals. One is x square e raised to x minus, so is with dx, and minus we have integral to e raised to x dx. If I try to solve this further, we are going to use the idea of <coughs> integral uv dx here. So if I have integral of uv, we used to take u integral v dv minus bigger integral du integral of v dv. The whole with respect to dv. So further, if I use the idea to find which is u and which is v, we will again use the same idea of light. So if I use that idea to find my order of u and v, I know x square is an algebraic function, e raised to x is an exponential function. So the first here comes as algebraic, so that becomes u and e raised to x becomes v. So if I apply the idea of integral of u into v, I get that i turning out to become x square. So x square is outside and you're finding the integral of e raised to x dx minus derivative of x square that is 2x integral of e raised to x that is again e raised to x dx minus here if you try to solve this for the 2 out integral of e raised to x is again e raised to x. So you get this entire expression. If I try to solve this further I get i as x square e raised to x because integral of e raised to x is same e raised to x only minus 2 if I try to find the integral of x into e raised to x dx again, minus 2 e raised to x. So if I try to find the integral of again x into e raised to x, that is same idea again as integral u into v 
So if I again apply the same idea, I get I rolling out to you x square. E raised to x minus 2. Here you are taking x out. Integral of e raised to x is e raised to x. Minus derivative of x that is 1. So integral of integral of e raised to x again. So integral of e raised to x minus 2. So further if I try to solve it, I get x square e raised to x minus 2x e raised to x plus 2 e raised to x minus 2 e raised to x. So if I see this idea, what is happening is your plus 2x and minus 2 e raised to x, it's getting cancelled. So you are left with i as x square e raised to x minus 2x e raised to x. So if I try to solve this further, your i value which is there, let's write it down here. E raised to x taken common, I get i as x square minus 2x e raised to x. So basically, your integrating factor becomes e raised to i, where i is e raised to x into x square minus 2x. So that is your entire if or in the integrating factor which is given to us. Now let's try to find the solution of this differential equation. So solution of the differential equation is given by y into if. Integral of q into if into dx plus c. If I try to solve this further, I have y if where is integrating factor. We know already it is e e raised to x x squared minus 2x is equal to integral of q. Q if I write it down, it's basically given to me x squared minus 2x x squared minus 2 e raised to so if I try to write that, it is x square minus 2x, x square minus 2, and e raised to 2x. If I already know it is e raised to e raised to x into x square minus 2x. Dx plus. Now to solve this entire integral, let's solve that part further. So to solve this integral, what I can do here is from this I understand. This e raised to x into x square minus 2x is present here also. So if I split this e raised to 2x, I can write that as e raised to x into e raised to x. So if I try to split this e raised to x further, let's see. So I can write that as x square minus 2 with 1 e raised to x. Further, I'll write e raised to x with x square minus 2x also. Because there are two e raised to x. And we have e raised to e raised to x into x squared minus 2x dx plus c. So what I can do here is I understand that if I am substituting or I am putting x squared minus 2x into e raised to x as t. So let's see what I get. So what I am doing here is I am putting this x squared minus 2x into e raised to x this entire expression as t. This is also your same expression t. This also is your same expression. So what it becomes, let's see. We need to make this entire expression with dx. That is x square minus 2 into e raised to x should turn out with dx. If I differentiate this, so let's differentiate this. So if I differentiate, I get u into v idea. So e raised to x into derivative of x square minus 2x or so 2x minus 2 plus x square minus 2x into derivative of e raised to x that is e raised to x. The whole thing with dx is equal to dt. Further if I try to solve this I have e raised to x common. You have 2x minus 2 plus you have x square minus 2x. The whole thing with dx is equal to so further, if I see 2x and minus 2x gets cancelled out and you are left with e raised to x, x square minus 2, dx is equal to. So you get the entire left out part which was there, e raised to x into x square minus 2 with dx. This entire thing turns out to become dt. So if I write my entire expression now, I have y e raised to t is equal to Integral of t e raised to t dt plus c. So this t is coming from here, e raised to t is coming from here, and this entire expression is equal to dt. 
So dt plus c. If I try to solve this further, integral of u into v again. So u integral v minus big integral derivative of u. So derivative of t with respect to t is what? Integral of e raised to t dt plus c. If I solve this, I get t integral of e raised to t is again e raised to t minus this becomes integral of e raised to t dt because integral of e raised to t is again e raised to t which is multiplied what what so you get e raised to t only plus c. so further you get t e raised to t minus e raised to t plus c. so e raised to t common t minus one plus c. so your entire expression if i resubstitute t i can write that as y e raised to x square minus 2x into e raised to x. So e raised to e raised to x into x square minus 2x is equal to you get e raised to t again. So e raised to e raised to x into x square minus 2x into t minus 1. So t minus 1 is x square minus 2x into e raised to x minus 1 plus c. So that is your entire solution of the differential equation that you have. Now let's just substitute the conditions and find the value of c. We have been told that this solution satisfy y at zero or yeah, y at zero is equal to zero. So if I substitute that idea, we get y at zero means that x equal to zero, we have y equal to zero. So if I substitute y being 0, this entire expression turns out 0 is equal to, this becomes e raised to, this is e raised to 0, this is 0 minus 0, so 0, so you get that entire expression 0, e raised to 0, plus here you get 0 minus 0, so 0 multiplied with e raised to x is also 0, so 0 minus 1 plus, so you get this entire expression turning out of it, 0 is equal to, e raised to 0, anything raised to 0 is 1, 1 into minus 1, that is minus 1 plus. So C value, I get that as 1. So your differential equation solution becomes y, e raised to, e raised to x into x square minus 2x is equal to, you have e raised to, e raised to x into x square minus 2x. The whole thing I've solved that as x square minus 2x with e raised to x minus 1 plus c, c in this case we got that as 1. So now if I just find out the value what is asking for at x equal to 2, let's find what is value of y. So if I try to find that y, e raised to, this becomes e square. If I put 2 here, 2 square 4, 4 minus 4, that is 0. So that becomes 0. This again becomes the same thing, e square and 0. This further, if I try to find out putting x equal to 2, I get 4 minus 4. So 0 minus 1 plus 1. So I get this entire expression turning out. Let's find out. e raised to 0, anything raised to 0 is always 1. e raised to 0, again 1. Minus 1 plus 1. So you get minus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 0. So you get y into 1 is equal to 0. So y also turns out to be 0. So you get the answer for the question which we have been asked to find out that at x equal to 2, we get y turning out to become 0. So you get the answer that matches with option C. So C is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on differential equation. So we just compared it with our general form of dy by dx plus dy equal to q. We got p and q. We found the integrating factor that comes out to become this. Then we just found the solution of differential equation using this entire idea. That gave us our differential equation in this form. Then we just substituted the condition at x equal to 0, y equal to 0. That gave us c as 1. And then after substituting x equal to 2, we got y turning out to become 0. So that matches with option c. And c is the correct answer for the question given. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of differential equations. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. 
and we are going to continue our series of questions on 11 12th as well as jr muni mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also do like share and subscribe to my channel do share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JW so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on a daily basis. Thank you.